Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to schedule Windows 10 to wake up from sleep automatically at a given time. So this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Type in Task Scheduler. Best match, should come back with Task Scheduler right above App. So go ahead and left click on that. Select on the right side where it says Create Task. So go select that. Now you can name this whatever you want. You can set it Auto Wake from Sleep or something like that. So we're just going to say Wake from Sleep. And it doesn't really matter which one you want to select here. It doesn't truly matter to me. It doesn't matter to the computer either, but just something that you'll be able to recognize. And you also want to check mark where it says run whether user is logged on or not. And then also select run with the highest privileges. And then where it says configure for, click inside the drop down and select Windows 10. Now you want to go also check mark where it says do not store password. This task will only have access to local computer resources. So once you have it as it appears on my screen here, you want to go jump over to the Triggers tab. Select the New option, or the New button, I should say. Give it a moment to load up here. And now you can set how frequently you want this to occur. So let's just say daily. You can set it to occur every so many days and a certain time as well. And then you can also check mark here where it says stop a task if it runs longer than. And you could set it for 30 minutes, an hour, or however long you really want there, just to make sure that it occurs. So we can just set it for one hour. It doesn't truly matter here, but we're going to just set it for one hour. And we're going to also select OK. And now we're going to jump over to the Actions tab. And you want to go select the new button again down at the bottom here. It should say action starter program and then program slash script it should say cmd.exe as it appears on my screen. And then for the add argument field, I'm going to have something in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy it and then paste it into this argument field, like I said, and then select OK. And now select the conditions tab. And you really shouldn't need to change too much here. Uh, you should change wake the computer to run this task. And now finally you want to jump over to the settings tab. And I'm just kind of looking through here. So stop task if it runs longer than. I will click inside the drop down and set it to one hour. And then let me just take a look here. I would say that looks like we are done. So go select OK. You can close it here. Another thing that I would suggest would be to change the power settings to make sure that your power options allow wake up timers. So if it doesn't allow wake up timer, what we just did would be in vain. So we're going to go open up the start menu, type in power options. Uh, one of the best matches should come back with power and sleep settings. I prefer to go under power options. So it's just going to be an extra step here. but. We're going to go and select under related settings, additional power settings. You can get through this through the control panel too. And from here, you want to select the option that says change plan settings. So whatever plan is currently selected, select the change plan settings that corresponds to it. And now you want to select advanced or change advanced power settings. So go left click on that. Look for something underneath sleep. So we're going to have to click on the little plus sign next to that. And then click on the plus sign next to allow wake up timers. And settings should be enabled. So if it's not, click inside the drop down, set it to enabled. And then select apply and OK. And that's pretty much it, guys. So I would suggest restarting your computer just for it to take effect. And that's about it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.